52. Okay. So here is the. Yes, yeah. Oh, this page is wrong. Sorry. 52. Okay. Uh, okay. So before we start, the, the, this is a story. Uh, it's a fiction story. Uh, then the title is Smith. So before that, yesterday we were doing, trying to sort out the vocabularies, I mean, new vocabulary in case. So court, maze, dingy, accost, leaden, urchin, speck. What are these mean? Definitions are written here. Body, a body of people before whom judicial cases are heard. What do you think it is? And if you remember, I said I told what this means. It's a court, uh, court. It means a body of uh, people of people before whom judicial cases are heard. Maze. What do you think it is? It is a network path. To find a way. Are you there, guys? Anybody? Yes, yes. You can hear me well, right? Yes. Uh, yes. What, what, yes. What, do you know what's that mean, urchin? Urchin is the as a child as a child who is poorly or raggedly dressed. Let's say like uh, the kids who lives in the street or quite poor. Speck. Do you know a speck? Speck, like dots? Uh, yeah, dots is uh, oh, tiny. One part, yes, exactly, tiny. So which one? We call it tiny spot. So what? What is tiny it? spot? Dingy. Dingy. What do you think it's dingy? Which one do you think it uh, can go? Tall, heavy, or slow? Ah. Huh? Dingy. Yeah, dingy. Dog. It's the uh, uh, dull, heavy. Ah, uh, dull, because heavy, or slow. Very dingy. 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 Okay, next one. Hello. Dull, heavy, or slow. Okay. And there's yeah. not what leaden. Approach. Uh, drop. As a close as a drop. She says drop. Remember the word? He says about his uh, assistant, the lady. Leaden is the word dull and heavy. <laughs> but dingy is a, uh, what is it? A gloomy and drop. Drop, drop. So, of course, it means automatically goes to approach and address boldly or aggressively. Okay, these are the vocabulary. Okay, so next slide. Okay, here. Uh, the story. Is by Leo Leo Garfield. Uh, Leon Garfield. Okay. Have a look at the glossary. Jug. Do you know the uh, another meaning of the word jug? Do you remember any other word of uh, I mean other meaning of the jug? Jug. Which the, the glossary jug? I can't hear you. Yes, you can just show it. Really? Oh, one morning, what are we? What about uh, now? Okay. Anything better? A jug is now it's better. better. Yes. Okay. Yeah, now it's better. Good. A jug is 19th century slang of prison. For prison. Yes. But in generally, what does it mean? Jug is, do you remember that the, the earth pot? Earth pot. Gentleman, that is a gentry or upper class man. No, I mean a jug, jug. at this time. Mm -hmm. Clerk is office worker, so obvious. Yard, we know. Okay, the word the dexterous. Dexterous also, we they call it dexterous. Ah. It's mental or manual skill. Any, anyone who has a skill, we call it dexterous. And also. The, uh huh. 
So now have a look at this one. Crimes committed on the street after the today may be different from the house uh, the, those in the past. Mohammed, what's uh -huh. going on? Okay. Good mental or manual skills. Uh, seems you, he's receiving my uh, voice quite late. He's speaking all of them. Okay, sorry. So, but the pickpockets have a long operated in all big cities all over the world and still do. Pickpocket, do you know who is the pickpocket? Pickpocket is someone is who steals stuff from your pocket, you know, that uh, thief, is a thief. He's a thief. But uh, they can take the stuff from your pocket in front of you or behind you in an uh, unnoticeable way. Okay. Are you back? I'm back. Hello? I'm back. I'm so Huh? Miss Fatima. Yes. Hello. Tell me she wanted to join, but uh, you. She wants to join what? Okay. Hold. She wants to join, but you need to like accept her. She told me to told you. Ah, okay. Let me. Uh, can you write it to the, the grade eight, uh, grade nine host? Tell her to write the chat to grade nine host because uh, the head computer can allow her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So pickpocket is the, basically the, uh, the thief. What kind of thief who steals your stuff behind okay. you from your pocket, right? About the story is about the Smith, the, Bob, the poor boy in the nineteenth century, which happened in the UK, who was a pickpocket thief. But by the time that London was the biggest, one of the biggest city, at the moment it's not the biggest, but one of the crowded cities as well, they count it, uh, count uh, London. Where is my screen? Where did it go? Okay, now. So, before that, before that now, uh, guys, can you have a look at the, your book on page number 152? Page 152. Okay, guys, are you there? Yes, we're still here. Okay, please. So look at the story. Yes. Okay. We're going to read the first page, which is our movie today now, okay? And then we will talk, uh, we will go on partially. Okay. The Smith, a Smith, a Smith had a turn of speed that was remarkable. And neatness in nipping down an alley or vanishing in a court that had to be seen to be believed. Not that it was often seen, for Smith inhabited that uh, tumble down mazes about the St. Uh, Saint Paul's like a uh, Temples like in the air itself. The rat was like a snail beside a smith. And the most, his thousand victims of a god of him was a powerful whiff of this passing, of his passing and cold drought in their dexterously emptied pocket. Okay, guys. Sophie, can you hear me? Buravi? Okay, Buravi, are you there? Yes. Yes, please. Can you tell me the first paragraph of what? I'm here. Yes. The can you first paragraph? What is it about? Can you tell me very? Uh, yes. I can't hear you clearly, Miss. Okay, Sophia, Sophie. Okay, now let me continue on my own then. They, uh, the first part is talking about his ability, for example, that was remarkable speed. 
and also the, the how he the, the vanishing disappears from the court and plus and uh, uh, he is very familiar with that area itself and there were many thousands of victims of him as the, who has been stolen their pockets that's what it means and uh, fatima yalla fatima yeah Okay. Do you see the looking closely? Can you see the looking closely on page number one fifty? Question. Yes. 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 Why does a Smith leave behind nothing but a powerful whiff and a cold draught? What do these phrases describe? What does it describe? What do you think? In your opinion, what does it describe? The line number six and seven. The line number six says, most his thousand victims ever got of him was the powerful whiff of his passing and cold draught in their big, closely empty pockets. Fatima? Uh. Mm -hmm. Does it mean like powerful whiff, like he was angry or something like that? Uh, like overall, with his meaning, you know, like uh, he doesn't steal from just anyone. Somebody, he, they are powerful. Somebody who has money or somebody who has wealth. From those he steals, what it, he means. He, he has thousands of victims, but uh, the, those are the powerful people. That means who are rich. And what about there's a cold drop in their, in, in their big stores to empty pockets? Yes. That means many of those oh. people are powerful and they're left with empty. Yes. Mm. Hello. What about the cold drought? Uh -huh. cold, is it like the opposite? Cold drop and a cold drop in there, in there, who's the, those victims? Dexterously emptied pocket. Dexterously means what? What it is it? This is mental or mental? Mental. Huh? Anyone? Name? Any idea? Sophia? Sophie? Sophie is not here. She's not yeah. here. Is she, why is she not here? She's at school. Okay. Anyways. Okay, Naeem, what do you think? Guys, please tell me. What do you think? She said, I told me the powerful week of this person. And cold drought in the dexterously empty pocket. Hmm? Any idea? Hello. What does we? No. Okay. So a cold drop in their dexterously empty pocket. Emptied pocket. This means dead pocket has been emptied, but dexterously. Aye. Dexterously. What does that mean, dexterously? If you can see this. Is it like the cold drop? Is it. Does it describe about the weather or like. It's not about the describe the weather. It's about their feeling, their condition. Cold drop in there. That means mm. they felt. Uh, uh, cold. Uh, they felt uh, empty. Okay. Cold drop in. In their dexterous empty pocket. That means now, if, if, if you see this uh, sentence, it's been constructed by passive. Where is the main word? Hello? Here, I'll back in the link. What? 
Huh? Yes. So basically, the story tells that uh, the, the, the victims are, are what? Uh, powerful people. And plus, he yeah. came with a totally empty pocket in their own. Okay. Now, uh, second part I'm going to read because this is uh, uh, the, the line is cut on off, on off, on off. It's so bad. So, a second part. I want you to pay attention and at the same time look at the, uh, question number two on uh, looking closely. Question is what do the word shouting and cursing and the scratching and ragging add to, the, to your understanding of the street scene? Why do you think the writer used four words in a row rather than just one? Okay, you're going to pay attention for, uh, for this question now when I read the question, uh, when I read the paragraph. So, only the bird that perched on the church dome ever saw Smith's entire purpose, and as their empty eyes followed him, they chatted savagely, pickpocket, pickpocket, jack him, jack him, jack him. His favorite spot was uh, Lodget Hill, where the world's coaches and the carriages met from a morning to night in a horrible confusion. And here, in one of or other of the accident doorway, Lee Smith leaned and grinned one. Miss? Yes. What part are you reading? Because I cannot hear you well. I'm reading the second paragraph. Oh, okay. I'm on the second paragraph. Did you hear what I read? Anyone? I have no. no. I have no idea where it has started, where it has uh, stopped. Okay, I will try again. I hope the net, cut, net will not cut again. You see this, uh, you can, uh, can you hear me, why, hear my voice? No. Okay. Our mission is looking closely, question number two. Question. Now it's pretty. Yeah. yeah, right now we can hear you, but when you read, we can. Okay, the question number two. We have to focus on those four words. A a curse, a shouting, scurrying, scrapping, and ragging. Uh, what is your, in your understanding? Why did he use those four instead of one? So here, the only the bird that perched on the church dome or ever seen saw entire progress as their big eye followed him. They chattered savagely, pickpocket, pickpocket, jack him, jack, jack, jack him. His favorite spot was Lodget Heath, where the world's coaches and carriages met from the morning to night in a horrible confusion. And here, in one or, one or other accident doorway, Smith, Lee, and Green Wilder are shouting. I think the, inter oh my, the oh internet my. has something to do with Ms. Fatma. Whenever we have English, it doesn't work. Yeah. Do you work from, from, from her house? No, I cannot. That's why I come into school. My home, I have a 3G. Here, we have 4G. No, at school. Hello? Put it, put it in the window, miss. Outside the house. But put your internet in the window. I'm next to the window. I'm closer to the internet. Better. I'm here next to, uh, to the class window, but still I cannot. In the morning it was a lot better, but now it's getting very, very weak. Okay, okay, guys. Now listen to me. As long as I'm working the way I read. So first paragraph, paragraph. Mm. Yes, I think the internet hates you. Whenever we have English, the connection goes bad. Okay, guys. So first and second paragraph, you, uh, we, uh, let's say we have read. Next time, please keep your book next to you. When I tell you to read, you can read it. Without, even if you don't hear me, you can read on your own and you can answer my question to interact. Understood? Guys, are you there? Okay. Okay, is that clear?
Can I read? ما تفتحش الشاشة تمشي شير سكرين يعني تاخذ مثل مس يس When you share the screen, your internet become more. Please uh, fix next to the door. The, the connection is better next to the door. You mean a new class door? Yeah. In our class, there is no signal at all. Let me go to the door side. Do you feel it better now? Hello? There is only next to the door, section there. I'm here next to the door now. Yeah. Yes. This is yes. yes. unstable. Okay, can you see the screen, what I'm writing? Can yes. you answer can you the answer question, question too? Question two. From comprehension? No, they're looking closely. Because he wanted uh, like to describe uh -huh. for us to see more how like how mad he is, how angry. Uh -huh. Yeah, like it uh, Is there any word about the expressing that anger and how mad? Because this part is this question about, about the rage. Same part the, 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 the street, uh, how it looks, the future of the street. The, the area, the, the, the largest uh, gate is the area he has chosen to be there. And that is, uh, in the street noises that they have, they have, he has expressed four different words. Okay. Those four different words expressing the, the street sound. Chaos. Chaos, exactly. And the question is why did he choose, to, uh, choose a four words instead of one? And plus, a paragraph. What let's get this correct What do you uh, what do you imagine when you read this part of what comes to your imagination? Uh like like uh, violence, like harshness, like street style sort of. Okay. Like that chaos means, happening, that's what I meant. The street is like what? Very like chaos, like yeah, it's like ah, uh, it's like the. Uh, they are very mad. More than mad. Uh, like they are all together. Mm, not exactly. Savage, uh, savagely, like a savage kind, a uh, savagely, and plus. Age. They can describe the, the they describe the, how busy it is, isn't it? Morning till time and night. And also there's one keyword, confusion. Oh yeah, the horrible confusion. Horrible confusion. Oh, what yeah. does that mean? That means you like you know when when that means uh, you're able to see what's going in exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. that noisy, you know, everything is made, coach, horse, and the people walking the right and left, you know. You will have no idea what's going on exactly. That means it's very, very crowded, very traffic -y area. So what is Smith doing over there? Smith, what is he doing there? <laughs> What do you think? What? Trying to steal. Um, Picking pockets. Mm, not exactly. He is 
observing. That means he's observing and trying to trying to choose his next victim. That means he's observing and preparation, you know, like this is post as a thief standing there just like casually and leaning on the wall and you know to looking at everyone and who's doing and what. That means he's observing and plus that means he is uh, preparing for his next waiting for a new victim. That's what it means. So can you read the third paragraph? On you. Third paragraph goes, at about half past 10 of December morning, an old gentleman got furiously out of the night, in which he would have been trapped for an hour, shook his red face at his helpless coachman at the roaring but motionless word and began to stump up like it, uh, like it, uh, like it hit a hill. Pickpocket, pickpocket, shriek the capital birds in the ferry. Aha. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Third paragraph, guys. Pick po uh, you're talking about the pickpocket? What? No, the, the, the third paragraph, what does it tell? Yes, I uh, It doesn't mean like he, tells, found, uh, he found another victim because he, uh -huh. the man I mean, was like he sort of on her. He, yeah, he, yeah. Is his he what? Next victim. victim. Who is he? The, the gentleman. Gentleman. And okay, so why he? Why do you think he is has added that the uh, pickpocket? Pickpocket shrieked the cathedral birds in a ferry. Because in the first paragraph it was written that he uh -huh. stealing the, the birds were the only one. They are telling that this is true. That's, uh, you know, the, how, uh, he has chosen still did some other actions going on as usual. Okay. Next paragraph, let's see the line from uh, here. He was a country gentleman, judging by his complexion, his clean old fashioned coat, and his broad legged and lumbering walk, which pocket in a manner most provoking. So, what does that mean? What is this paragraph about? He was a country gentleman. He, they were describing about his like uh, the gentleman. They were descri description about his fashion. Describing his like his character, personality, or his character in the uh, story. A character, his feature, right? More like yeah. it's more like feature, not character, because yeah. you can't really determine oh. the character by the exactly. Right? What do you see? What kind of thing can you see from this part? He is like what? Slim man, tall man, short man, kind man. What can you see from this uh, part? How, what? What? I would say tall. I would say short. He's old fashioned. I don't know. Something like that. I would say tall. Can you figure out that this is a broad leg? How can you think that he is overweight and uh, fat and short? From which part? Bo broad leg. Yes, exactly. What does it mean, broad leg? Broad leg. So um, that mean? Uh, broad. Wait. That, that means two legs are. To be honest, I don't know what it means, but I I feel he's. Yeah, I mean, the uh, it's is, the consequence. Somebody's leg is apart, not the broad legs. Like when you, it's like uh, wide, wide. Yes, when you, the, those two legs are apart from each other, walk, uh, not touching each other. Usually, you know, the uh, people who has overweight, they have a broad leg. They cannot keep our leg like us close to. So broad leg is give us the oh, yeah, yeah. broad leg give us the hint that he's overweight. And more likely, also could be short. Uh, but short, I'm not sure. And lumbering walk. What does it mean, lumbering walk? Lumbering. Uh, stubby walking. 
though? Huh? Like, I don't know. Like, uh, you can't, like. That means the person is walking right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh. <laughs> this is a lumbering walk, okay? Yeah. So from this, you can imagine that he is somehow he's overweight or fat, let's say. And and the walk, which like bumped, which bumped out his pockets in a manner most provoking. What does it mean, provoking? Like provoking. giving, provoking. It's like um, you know, it's not good. You may it's pain or something. <laughs> Not good. Maybe, like not, not good. Yeah. Not good, maybe. For example, if somebody provoke you, what are you going to do? Provoke you. Like he, keep him alone. He provoked me. That means he teased you. He, or like he's annoying me. He annoying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> teasing, huh? So that's how we're going to describe the story. The rest of the story you have. Same to meaning is annoying, teasing. Uh huh, annoying, teasing. Uh, so uh, I think this is our time, is it, uh, here today? And uh, next lesson, we're going to continue after 10 minutes, or should we continue? What do you think? We have two lessons today, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. After this. Hold on, what's happening? We have um, writing. Uh, we have writing. Instead of writing, we're going to do the, the course book because we have uh, finished our writing curriculum, remember? Okay. It's ah, so you're saying we should study the next lesson in English. Yeah. So we okay, let's continue. Let let me let us start uh, the the window again because you know it's automatic uh, recording. Okay.